already getting hot in spring, summer is going to be really, really hot. I went ahead and put a shade on this side like I have on the other side. And another thing I noticed was the afternoon sun was hitting some of my plants from the back, like right here. Um, and up there, the cactuses too were looking a little bit um, dry. Um, so I put some contact paper there to see how it holds up. And it's not a dark contact paper, it's pretty light. Um, light does come in nicely still for the plants. So I just wanted to show you that. Just some ideas. If you have a greenhouse um, with this type of plastic, the clear plastic, so this is considered coral plast, and Home Depot sells coral plast. Um, they have the clear one, but they also have the white one. If you want to change some of your panels, you can and have the white ones just to give your plants a little bit more of a protection um, if you feel that you need to. So guys, I'm just going to show you around. Uh, here's this cactus that you guys saw. It's here because I need to pot it up. And um, also here in Florida in the springtime, well, um, normally April's, normally during April, we get a lot of showers, but lately it hasn't been raining that much. Um, it did rain for like two days straight, but that's not considered a lot. I mean, in the past, we would have rain after rain after rain. So to me, I feel like it hasn't been raining that much. Um, but it is a season where it does normally rains a lot so just for safety I just moved um, a lot of my plants in here just to leave them in here and not to have to worry even though like I said before this one had this is the ghost plant she's done very well, well with um lots of rain um, there's many times where I've left her out there and she's taking a lot of rain and she's doing well it's just a very I would, I guess you would call it a hardy succulent. It's a very hardy succulent. And oh, just to show you how different they look, just maybe because of the way it's pot, and I don't know what, or maybe yeah, because this one was always in the sun and got a lot of rain. So look at this. She's big and beautiful, and you see some different colors in there, and. It's I would say they're pretty dark colors. Now when you look at these over here, it's the same plant. Same plant, just this one gets a lot of sun, but not a lot of water like the other one. And um, this one's a lot more paler in color. So that's the difference there. Here are, what I have up here. Oh, this one's about to flower. I'm so excited about that. Can't wait to capture that. We need some nice wind right now. I move some of my plants around. Look at how well the Echeveria Chroma is doing. And um, I know I already told you guys this before, but remember when I beheaded um, the Echeveria Chroma, I told you I was going to throw away the stems. I was thinking about it, and I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't because um, they've gotten so big. Let me show you. Where are they? Right here. Look at how big they are. So big, and so this one is one in the front here, and there's an itty bitty one all the way at the bottom right there. That's my finger, and then this is like a double. Hold on, let me just pick up the pot. This is like a double one right there. Um, so over here, oh, we have a friend in here. See the lizard. I hope you eat um, all kinds of bugs that might want to kill my plants. This is a topsy turvy. This is a baby. Oh, well, it, it was from a bait um, from a mom, and I have that plant has given me so many babies. I noticed that the topsy turvy is just a um, a big baby giver. And here are some babies here. Look, my lift out didn't die. 
still there holding on. We'll see. Look, more topsy turvy babies. I think I just showed you that one. Here's some more. And here I have some, some plants that are rooting or they're just babies. More topsy turvy babies. Here are some propagation. Here are these pots. They're doing well. Um, this one I had to. So this one, if you look in my previous videos, it was it had a longer stem, and she was sticking out. And I was cleaning this pot up, and I noticed the stem had rotted out for no reason. There was no reason. But um, at the very top of the stem, there was roots. So I just went ahead, cut her, let her dry for two days, and stuck her back in. And But everyone else is fine in here, so I don't understand how or why did that happen. It's just a random thing that happens. Um, I, I, I haven't said names. This is the, um, so the Graptoberia, or Graptopetalum, I think it was, Morosaki, um, that I purchased, I divided her. So she's in separate pots. They're not in permanent pots. I just don't have any nice pots right now that I want to pot up. Um, so yeah, or an idea. I don't have like an idea right now what, what I want to do. So that one is that. I don't know the name of this one. This is Echeveria pomodonis, Topsy Turvy. Um, this is Echeveria uh, Lilacina back here. I have one. I think I have one somewhere else. No, I do have babies. Guys, I'm still getting over a code. And then you see here's more of the ghost plant. I don't, this is some type of Kalanchoe, don't know the name, don't know the name of that one either. This is the, um, the pink butterflies. I have a bunch of, so I did write a bunch of um, names on the sticks, but I haven't come out here and put them on here, I should have done that. And here's some more. This is the one that you saw me that I just purchased. I just pot, potted them up in separate pots no particular reason they're just there I think temporarily until I find the perfect pot that I want to display them on let me move this one over here this is like one of my favorites I probably have a few favorites but this is so pretty I just love the way it looks like roses to me that never die that's what it looks like to me I really like this one love it I need to bring some plants inside for a few days just to look at them and enjoy them. Here's more of the same one of the pink moonstones. That's the same. This is the Alpen Glow, I believe. Donkey's tail. Uh, different cactuses up there. Oh, here's more of the Murasaki that I. They're just there in dirt until I decide where I want to put them in. Guys, uh, so I wanted to tell you guys to check out my Instagram. I have some pots for sale. Um, one of them is a rhino. Then the other one is a really cute pig. And the other one, I don't know if it's a cat or a fox. I really can't tell. But go ahead and check my Instagram. I posted them there if you guys are interested in purchasing them. Um, I was thinking about... I haven't told this to anybody. I just posted, but I'm, I, I didn't say anything. But I think inside of the planner, I think I'm gonna just put one of these inside as a little, like a, a little cute gift, as a thank you gift for purchasing. And just seeing, you know, if you guys have any luck with it. So, um, some babies, I have a bunch of, um, 
I have a bunch of these that are propagating, so I was thinking about throwing, you know, one or two inside the pot and see what happens. These are um, some flapjacks that I had in the front yard. I have the big ones, and these are babies that I took out of the mama, and they're just here rooting in the shade. So that's it. So guys, um, thank you so much for watching my channel and supporting me. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show you guys. Like, look at how cute this one is flowering. So pretty. And here's my Echeveria Debbie. So purple and pretty. I love that color. So pretty. Love it. And go ahead and check out my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is babybrio22. It'll be in the description box below so that you guys can find me. And I post a lot more there, like pictures. Um, so yeah. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day. Bye guys.